Students need to understand the concept of center of mass or center of gravity. The center of mass is a point in the object where the object behaves as if all of the weight is sitting at that point. So if you want to balance an object, you put your finger underneath the center of mass. So it doesn't matter the shape, baseball bat, meter stick, pen, pencil, whatever. What you're doing when you're balancing the torques is you're putting your finger right under the center of mass. The general equation for center of mass is pretty straightforward. So x coordinate of center of mass or center of gravity, whatever you want to call it, is sum of the masses at each position divided by all the mass. And then the y component looks the same way, except it's the sum of the product of all the masses times their y components divided by the sum of all the masses. This is how you get the xy coordinates for center of mass of an object. Now notice that this is a weighted average. So you have your mass times your displacement or position divided by all of the masses. When people stand, they're f what they're usually doing is adjusting their center of mass when they walk around. So when people stand up straight, the center of mass um, of the entire body tends to be um, around the belly button. So you got upper body versus lower body if you wish to separate it that way. But the total, um, if you look at the human, is right around the belly button, more or less. Now the space is the feet. So what happens when you stand up straight, the center of mass of the part of the body is directly over the base, which means it's parallel to the lever arm because the body is the lever arm. And if the angle is zero, there is no torque. Now, if someone hunches over, now what they're doing is they're changing the center of mass, which is gonna be a force acting downward, but notice that the it's different from the lever arm. And that's going to apply a torque, which means you're going to end up stressing your lower body to adjust for the torquing. So if your lower back hurts around your shoulders, you're probably hunching over. Same thing with holding items. What you do is you have a system, like father and child. Now, if he's the man stood up straight, the child would be back here, pulling him backward into a torque. So what he does to avoid that is he simply leans forward just a little bit to compensate for the mass of the child. So the system center of mass is still over the base and is stable. And same thing when you put a bag on your side or you're carrying something heavy. Again, when you're bending over, what you're doing is when you bend down, you throw your hips back which keeps your center of mass over the base, which keeps you stable.